Hi Taurus, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. Welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your monthly forecast for July 2018. Thank you for joining me. Um, so if you'd like a private reading, if you're new to my channel and you know you don't know this information, that's why I always say it. If you're new, hi, welcome. Um, but if you'd like a private reading, the link is below. Um, if you'd like to support me on Patreon, the link is below. Um, other than that, remember these are general, so they're not going to apply to everyone. Keep in mind, watch your sun, your moon, and your rising, uh, your rising sign readings. And that will give you a bigger picture of what may be coming up for you. So, let's get going here. Now, at the bottom of the deck, as your overall energy this month, we have the Hierophant. So the Hierophant, first of all, this is your car. This is Taurus energy. So, that tells me that this is a month for you to make progress with something but you have to take charge you have to take the reins and you have to push it through in certain situations okay this is something that either you're working with other people or multiple people are involved in this project or whatever this is and everyone kind of seems to have other things that they're focusing on at this time it's kind of going nowhere so it's up to you to take the reins and say okay this is what we're doing i'm taking charge i'm taking responsibility for this i'm taking accountability of this and this is what we're doing and then things will fall into place because you will lead the people and they will do what they need to do under your guidance okay and so you can really push something through is what i'm getting with this and take it whichever way it applies um, for others of you, this is a time of signing new contracts, significant contracts with this energy, maybe with the government, if this is for your business, this is government funding, backing, spons sponsorships, um, Patreons, I don't know, stuff like that, okay? Um, and for others of you, this is about going back to school or you're researching or studying on your own, okay, in an informal way, or you are paying for training, but it's you're paying for it. It will pay off for you in the long run though, okay? Um, for others of you, maybe you're dealing with another Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Rising sign, um, and they're significant for you during this time. There may be um, either pressure, a pressure from family or a focus on family for some of you during this time. Um, either maybe family needs you um, or your parents need you more during this time. For some, you're becoming parents during this time. You're starting a family, so congrats. And for others, this is celebrations and weddings, moving in together, getting a house, signing that mortgage deal, uh, selling, buying property, big, big changes, but blessed changes, okay? Because it is a number five, but remember, have faith, trust your guidance, trust your intuition, get expert advice when it applies, and just keep going, okay, is the message. For career, finances, studies, personal projects in your business, we have the three of wands. You are going places, okay? You are going places. So for some, this is two working together with two other people, and you're uh, a team, um, and that's how you'll be successful. For others, this is about collaborations. This is you and you're teaming up with two other people or you're teaming up with a company run by two different people. And that's how you get forward. That's how, it's like a new platform. It's a new platform, okay? You get seen, you get noticed, you reach more people, um, you get more followers, you get more supporters, more clients, okay? This is what that is, what that means. Your ships are coming in, so something you've been studying, um, now you get to apply, or now you get to put on your resume because you've graduated, and then that allows you to ask for more money when um, you go back to your job, or when you're looking for a new job, you get to have bigger um, expectations when it comes to pay, okay? Um, for others, this is traveling for work, um, relocating, or a situation where you're uh, working in the office for two or three days in the week, and then you get to work from home the rest of the week, that sort of thing. Um, for others of you, this is opening up, reaching more people. Uh, so getting a website put together, uh, doing advertising, networking, that's what brings you success because this is about your ships coming in after you do the work. Um, and so that's the work. Get things done, advertise, publicity is important, networking is important. Send your ships out there, present your work to the world, and that will bring you returns, okay, with this energy. But it is a card of growth, of expansion, of reaching new ground, new territories, um, new things being available to you now that weren't available to you before in terms of making money, job, career, studies even, okay, with this energy. So take advantage of it, okay, really take advantage of it. The world is your oyster with this. So put your trust and confidence in what you're doing, put your heart in what you're doing and send it out into the world with the confidence that it will bring you blessings in return because it will, okay? 
for your home and family, your social connections, we have the Queen of Swords. So with the Queen of Swords, okay, this may be someone in your family, a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius, Sun sign, Moon sign, or Rising sign. This person may have uh, certain expectations of you during this time. For some, this could be your partner, and it's like they're not willing to meet you halfway, okay? So there may be, they may be putting pressure on you pressure to do something or pressure to be home more or pressure to be around more pressure to take on additional responsibility uh, pressure to help pressure to support um, with this energy um, try to communicate and reason with this person okay um, try to explain what you're doing and why you're unable to accommodate um, in a lo logical rational way okay um, for others of you this is this is contracts okay this is legal stuff that you're dealing with um maybe even court things that have to do with child support or uh, spouse support or um, anything to do with property that was challenged claims made uh wills challenged anything like that okay that's what you're dealing with during this time and the message here is justice will be served get yourself a good attorney if you don't have one already and if you do just follow what they're telling you to do because it looks like things are going to go in your favor just give them what they're asking for and be honest and be um truthful up front um, because that will pay off for you, okay? No cutting corners, no lies, no hidden truth, no deceit, because that will come to back, kind of bite you in the backside, okay? Um, but contracts are important, so moving or starting a home-based business also comes up here, and marriage licenses and stuff, okay? Um, for your emotional life and love life, we do have the death card here, so this is a major arcana card. Now, with the Hierophant and the death card, for some, this can be the end of a marriage, this can be divorce, but it is something that I feel either you initiated, so you're okay with it, or you are, you're just okay with it. You know that it's the right thing to do. With the death card, whatever is ending when it comes to your emotional life and love life, um, it was dead already, so it was just dead weight by this time, by this point, so it's being cleansed out of your life so that you can transform and have a new beginning there. So you can heal and then open up to new and better relationships if that's what's going on. For others of you, this is a lot of cleansing. This is a lot of releasing of toxic energy previous, okay, from previous relationships of um, toxic energy from a relationship that is now ending. This is healing. This is releasing. This is cleansing. This is therapy. This is uh, using crystals to heal, to release. This is relying on a good friend, okay? This could be a Scorpio individual that's significant during this time. Um, but it is healing towards new beginnings and growth, okay? For some, this is the, it's like it's the end of a phase and the beginning of a new one. So it's the end of you being single because now you're um, going to marry someone. So it's the end of you being called, you having a, a certain last name because now you're going to have a different ra last name, sorry, um, if that's what's going on. So it's not a bad situation. It's just the end of a phase when it comes to your emotional life and love life so that a new phase can begin, but it's a natural transition is what is supposed to happen, okay? The end of you, you know, being just the two of you because now you're going to have a family and now you're going to expand. Um, the end of, you know, being three people because now you're adding to the family and for some you're having twins, okay? So it's that sort of energy here. It's a, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. So whatever is being released from your life, let it go because you have so much better stuff coming in, okay? For your challenge, we have the Magician. So we have a few major Arcana cards here. So that's why I said this is your energy, this is your time to make things happen. Your challenge is to use your resources, all your resources. Your challenge is to take action. Your challenge is to initiate. Your challenge is to lead with confidence, okay? This is a manifester type of energy. So that's what you're doing during this time. And you have to do it with confidence and you have to focus on what you want to see happen, not let fear overwhelm you because that's what you'll be manifesting, okay? Um, so use all your resources. And I mean all your resources get creative with it get a strategy together get a plan put together it doesn't have to be you know extensive or exhaustive but it has to be the next few steps okay or like the general idea of where you're going and a couple of steps to get you started okay but it's a month to initiate use your energy use your resources use everything that's available to you to get that going whatever it is that you've been thinking about starting or changing in your life this is the month to do it okay and you have to use your power okay Let's have a look at what your additional message 
of advice is for the month for Taurus and Luna Rising. So we have Archangel Michael. So just right off the bat, before I even read the message, this is about cutting ties. This is about cutting cords. This is about releasing yourself from the past or releasing yourself from the pain that the past has caused you. That's how you move forward. Okay. That's one of your resources. Actually, healing is one of your resources. So I am with you, giving you the courage to make life changes that will help you work on your divine life purpose. So that's what's going on for a lot of you. That's why you have so many major arcana cards. Um, you're starting to make changes because you're starting to walk the path of your life purpose, which is amazing. Okay, it's not easy, but it is amazing and very fulfilling. Um, so don't be afraid to cut cords. Don't be afraid to cut ties. Call on Archangel Michael to help you cut cords, to help you release. Um, to help you cleanse because he will be there for you. Okay. He will help you um, So that's your guidance. Okay Trust your truth and use that sword of truth to cut what you know needs cutting. Okay Trust that you're actually making room for better things and better people to come into your life So that is your reading for the month. I hope that it makes sense to you and I hope that it helps Let me know. Okay comment down below. Let me know how the messages apply if they do um, thank you so much for all your beautiful support, for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, following me on social media. Just any form of support you show me, I appreciate it. Um, have a fantastic month, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye for now.